Glastonbury Abbey is often associated with Celtic Britons and is fated as the potential burial place of the legendary Romano-British monarch, King Arthur. However, away from the heady world of mythology, it is a fact that three kings of non-Celtic origin were buried at the site. These are the Anglo-Saxon rulers, Edgar the Peaceful, Edmund I and Edmund Ironside. The fact that three kings of the one-time Saxon invaders embraced the undoubtedly sacred location speaks to its transcendent power. But it could also be a kind of syncretism, like when Christian shrines are built atop former pagan temples, or a similar phenomena to the establishment of mosques or churches at former Christian or Muslim holy sites by invaders who follow a different faith. This was also evident when another new line of monarchs, the Plantagenets, in this case in the form of Edward I, played along with the Arthur connections to increase his claim to follow in the mythical monarch's footsteps. Edward and Queen Eleanor were present for a symbolic opening of King Arthur's alleged tomb at Glastonbury Abbey in 1278. It can be seen as perhaps more than a coincidence that Edward was engaged in a brutal military campaign against Arthur's would-be compatriots in Wales at the time of this Plantagenet Pendragon pantomime. The three earlier Saxon kings' burials highlight the continuing importance of Glastonbury Abbey, despite the changing of the elites in the land that is now known as England. Edmund I reigned as King of the English from the 27th of October 939 to the 26th of May 946. Edgar the Peaceful held the same regnal title from the 1st of October 959 to the 8th of July 975 and Edmund Ironside was also King of the English for a brief reign from the 23rd of April to the 30th of November 1016, before the title was slightly amended to King of England in the reign of his successor, the Norseman Knut the Great, who also wore the crowns of Denmark and Norway at various times as ruler of the so-called North Sea Empire. The connection of Glastonbury to the reigning monarch of England persists to this day, with a flowering sprig of the Glastonbury thorn tree being presented to Queen Elizabeth II each year at Christmas time. This video is part of my Glastonbury series playlist. Please check the link in the description for the rest of the videos in this series. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe and thanks very much for watching.